Houston, there is a stark contrast between the 2023 Final Four and the 2022 Final Four. Last year there was blue blood everywhere. Duke, North Carolina, Villanova, Kansas. 61 combined finals, 4 appearances, 18 combined national championships. Three of the four teams had never made it to the Final Four before this season. I've never won the NCAA tournament this season. It's not like the 2011 Final Four in Houston, it's 3 seed, 4 seed, 8 seed and 11 seed. This year, there's the 9 seed Florida Atlantic facing 5 seed State of San Diego, don't call them Cinderella's. On one side and 5 seed Miami fighting 4 seed Yukon on the other. The Huskies enter the national semifinals with five Final Fours and four national championships in program history, holding the torch for historical value. They're also favorites to cut the nets this season. Duke vs. There are no reviews for North Carolina Part 3 yet. That's why we spoke several coaches who faced them on Saturday and Monday this season to get a feel for what expect in the national title game. Why is the state of San Diego so tough on defense? What triggered this particular FAU run? How can you slow down Miami's guards? Why is UConn so dominant in the NCAA tournament? Answers to these questions and more Janelle Davis may not be Florida Atlantic's best player, but he's the Owls' X-Factor. Al Bello on balance and depth, I don't think they have any holes. In March, if you can defend, recoil, and execute, you have a shot. They have depth. The US Conference isn't a 9-deep league, it's 7-deep leagues. They also have 9 children. I think that plays a role. Mike Forrest didn't start, got off the bench and was an all-league last year. The year of Elijah Martin did not begin, it appeared on a national scale. Nicholas, Boyd shoots, Brian, Greenlee shoots. Janelle Davis is a pervert. He's just a matchmaking problem, he gets better as the game goes on, he shoots big. A cohesive group, they believe in each other, and Dusty, May, is never shaken. Janell Davis, he's playing games. He became an elite finisher. It can be finished in various ways. He's really good at basketball and I think he's getting better as the game goes on. It has a calming effect. On the second half runs, sometimes you think it's over and it's not. They just hang with it. I don't think Dusty is losing his cool. It does not create any extra pressure on them. The game brings enough pressure and Dusty handles it. It handles the pressure of the game and just conveys confidence, man. He works with authorities and he works with his men, but it's all done in a way that the message is, we're going to win game. About Vladislav Golden, this dimension affects the game. He is the second or third greatest goal scorer. You can throw it at him, he can have an old-fashioned basket. It takes a lot of dimension around the basket from a defensive standpoint. You get in there and dealing with this guy is different compared to six to seven guys. It protects the rim very well. It just takes up too much space on the lane. They said, Gavs and Gavs have an advantage. Big size, big size. High big power, both can finish, both can play in screen and roll. They are very skilled at defending basketball. We don't have any other gold in our league. There are no two such great men in the USA. At the national level, it has been translated. On their defense, they are physical, they get the ball, they are physically strong as a team. They're in low coverage so they really need to get the ball and blow up the screens because otherwise, these guys come out and shoot. Defensive position is good, ball defense is very good. On winning close matches, they have an older team, an experienced team. They obviously have a mentally strong team. They play well together and play very well. They cannot be active. Look at the months of December and January. December 29th, 2 next game, 4, 4. They handle it well. Why did they lose, put Golden on the ball screens, run. Try to be aggressive by pressing the ball. Get 3, force them to play faster, they take good care of the ball. 
They press ball, take off in transitional lanes, become destructive, distracting the action from basket. They're not great individual attackers, they get away with ball screens, driving and kicking. They are not good players on their own. They can be sensitive to size. They steal a smaller line. I like Janelle Davis a lot. But if there's 6 to 10 guy in a 6 to 7 guy, maybe little bit of size, may bother them. If Golden gets in trouble, that's not ideal. I don't think Rosado can play 30 minutes a night in terms of conditioning. It serves well as a support. If you have a dynamic guard that can score a lot of points. If you play the post a little. If you pressure them, they have bodyguards. There are a handful of guys who can bring it to court, they change a lot in defense. X Factor, Janel Davis. I don't even know if he's the best player, but he always seems to play big games. You look up and you get his numbers. Because he has best players, he does the little games that best players don't always do. I remember Janel Davis. He's always around the action, plays to stop that's why you're constantly making sure you have the right guys in the right assist position defensively. They run a lot of good stuff. A lot of other teams you can find someone who is, oh, he's a four man, can't hit him. When you play with these guys, it's always hard to figure out who to help because you're nervous about helping a shooter. I think the FAU is finding a way to win. Because they always do. I think they believe too much right now. I wouldn't bet anything they'd still be where are, but they are, so I don't know why we thought wouldn't move forward. San Diego State defense strength will remain a challenge for the FAU on Saturday. Jeffrey Brown Icon Sports Wire on their toughness and physicality, first thing, you better put on your hard hat. They're just as physical as any team you'll play at any level in the country. And they are men. When you look at them, they are 5th and 6th year olds. They are elite and unmatched in defense. They are elite, but a completely different style from what people are used to seeing. Their ability to shift 1 to 5, shift, double key actions, giving them an edge in half court becomes very, very difficult. They have so many great individual defenders and they are very connected as a team. It can protect smaller guards, an elite fire blocker. It is a defensive weapon. 